for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel i've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person we'll find out what's coming up we'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is so cancer the recent past energy between you and your person we got the sun card and it's with the will of fortune now the sun card it indicates that things are likely to be going very well. Your finances, they should be in good shape. But this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on that list for some of you. And for some of you it is. Now this would be a good time to socialize, to meet new people get out and about and if you're looking for a new job this card actually signifies that it's right around the corner now it's with the will of fortune when you get this card it reminds us that this too shall pass whether it's good times whether it's bad times it passes if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world Keep your perspective, as that too, like everything else, changes. So you have, to, you have to live in the now and count your blessings and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So basically, the recent past energy for you and your person, the sun card, clarified by this will of fortune so what I'm getting is that for a lot of you cancers wait a minute I'm getting a download here what I'm getting is that your person that you're involved with or the person in this relationship they were the type of person that was always trying to make you happy they probably enjoyed it they liked seeing you smile they liked putting a smile on your face and they just took pleasure in making you happy or maybe that was just their character the type of person to always try to make other people happy but anyway, this person made you really happy, and they put in a lot of effort and energy in doing so. Now, because it's with the will of fortune, it's showing that things are changing. Yeah, the will is turning. So, while they were always trying to make you happy and put a smile on your face, fortune was in your favor, but the will is turning. So things might start to look different or seem different because the will, like I said, it's constantly turning. It was in your favor when they were trying to, always trying to make you happy. Good luck was on your side. But like I said, keep your perspective like everything else. Things change. So the will is turning. So... We move on over and take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got temperance, and it's with the four of cups. Now, temperance, with this card, all things should be going well, but you might need to look at any deep personal issues and see if they're standing in your way, and if they are, how to work through them. Because the idea with temperance showing up in your reading is to find balance in yourself or in your relationships or maybe with any goals and aspirations that you have. Now, it's with this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook 
what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So basically, it's I'm picking up that, like I said, your person was always giving to you, trying to make you happy. Okay, so sorry about the noise in the background. I'm having some into interruptions here, but I think I can manage to get through the reading. So yeah, your person was always trying to put a smile on your face, trying to make you happy and make you feel good. This was probably their character or something that, um, or a way of doing that they thought that you would like and appreciate. But um, like I said, your person is trying to bring, they're realizing that balance is not in the connection. There is probably, they probably could be feeling that there's no equal give and take. And they're probably starting to feel that, um, yeah, they're the ones, they're probably realizing that they're the ones that put in all the effort trying to bring happiness into the connection. So your person could start to feel like this Four of Cups, um, wishful thinking, wishing things were different. And what comes out of that is the feelings of being devalued and your person could start to feel unloved. So they're trying to maybe bring balance in the connection or they're trying to or they could be wishing that it was more balanced because they realize now that they're the ones that are putting in all the effort for happiness in the connection. I don't know if they're I don't I don't know if they're doing all the work, but it looks like they're the ones that are all they're the ones that are always trying to put joy in the relationship, bring a smile on your face, make you happy. So now they're starting to realize it's, it's not an equal give and take. So they're starting to feel devalued and unloved. That's what the Four of Cups is about. Now let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is. We got the High Priestess. And it's with the hangman. Now with this high priestess showing up in your reading, it can mean that you could be in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's going to be a time to rely on your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important for you to pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it'll be a really good idea. Yeah, this uh, High Priestess is, it's an interesting card. It can be a magical, mystical time for you or your person if you're interested in love because it's a time when you could find men and women alike all of a sudden finding you far more attractive, both in terms for friendship and for romance but the problem is is that you'll attract all kinds the good the bad and the ugly and it's not always easy to tell which is which now it's with the hangman the hangman well when you get this card it shows that you could feel like you're at a crossroads one with only two options in or out up or down yes or no you could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if this happens, it's a sign that you should relax. Stop and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. It could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of, because any sacrifice that you make, it will open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. All in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. 
So basically, like I said, your person feels like they're putting in all the energy and effort in the relationship to bring happiness, to make it a, a happy relationship, or just to make you happy. They feel like they're, they're not getting it back in return. There's no equal give and take. Yeah, at one point it was fine because the will was in your favor. But the will is turning in, in this relationship. So your person is needing to feel some balance here. And they're not. So they're starting to feel devalued and unloved in the relationship. Now, the high, the high priestess can actually be the type that will go silent. Yeah, so this person could go silent on you. And you're going to be confused. You're going to be kind of stuck in your head. Not really understanding what's going on. Because you're used to your person always trying to make you happy. And you were the type that would just suck it all in. Yeah. So, your person might just go silent on you. With the high priestess here. Yeah. So let's move on over. And see what's coming up for the outcome. Now we got the emperor. And it's with the king of wands. Now the emperor it shows that domination over the mind. Over the heart is sometimes necessary. Even though it's not wanted. In fact. It should be welcomed. And that's what you must think. When you get the emperor in a reading. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important to maintain your focus, maintain your concentration. The emperor signals this, but he also signals that now, now is actually the time you're going to find it easier to make hard choices. And why do I say this? Because the emperor is the type that only uses his head, not his heart. So, enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best. And if, and I say this because if you can master yourself, then you have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. So, it's with the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands can indicate a man, this person would have here on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. They'll want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is very positive. Even when it does not represent an actual person in your life. He signifies that men around you. They're very supportive of you. And they think well of you. So you'll be feeling ambitious. Goal oriented. And you'll have the will. To maybe accomplish whatever you have in mind. So basically the outcome. Cancer. The emperor clarified by king of wands so yeah like i said your person is not feeling really good now they've come to a fork in the road all of a sudden they just stopped and they realize why am i doing all the work to make someone happy who never really tries to reciprocate so yeah, their eyes are wide open now. Before it was okay, because fortune was in your favor. But the wheel has turned. So, you might just want to take this reading as a, a warning. Not really a warning, but just um, pay attention to how your person might change or become different. Or... They might, like I said, they're going to go cold and go silent on you because the emperor is cold. Yeah, th your person might stop opening up their heart to you. But, because the king of wands is paired with the emperor, your person, they, they still care a lot about you. But they're going to go silent and they're going to go cold. They, they're going to stop showing emotion. They're going to stop trying to make you happy. But this person st still has caring and loving, protective 
caring, loving, and protective feelings toward you. So, like I said, just take this as a, a warning. If you're not giving as much as your person is, you might just want to try some reciprocation. Yeah. Try a little bit and see how, you, how your person reacts and see if they um, start to smile and beam and glow like they used to. But, yeah. The outcome is that they're gonna go cold and they might go silent on you. But just know that this person still has loving and caring feelings for you. That's what the King of Wands is, is about. But the Emperor will shut down and won't show any emotions. So, yeah, this will confuse you. You got the hangman there. But this reading is to, to prepare you for this. It can be avoided. If you're the type of person or the, if you're the cancer who's just been um, taking everything all in because your person is a giving type, then you might want to say, wait a minute. I could do something nice for my person and put a smile on their face for once. So yeah, this is a very specific reading. It's for just a few people. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Once again, sorry about the noise in the background, but I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between... The two of you in the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and check out my next reading where I might may not have so much noise in the background. Sorry about that. Please come back, check out the next reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, the roles can be switched. You could be your person, your person could be you, and if you're not in a love, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, um, your person could actually be a friend, family member, or it could be a situation. Take the reading for however it resonates, because these are general readings they're not personal readings so cancer i thank you so very much for watching i can never say that enough thank you for all my subscribers uh, you guys have been coming in really strong for me lately it really helps my channel to go grow so thanks for my new subscribers my old subscribers and all my watchers i appreciate all of you i hope you have a great day i hope to see you at the next reading and take care.